Hello, what's going on? And welcome back to more FC25 Ultimate RTG content. And in this episode, I'm going to be taking you on a massive grind, a journey of collecting cards, coins, and being able to complete the Hero SBC for free. Now, it's a big grind. Hope you enjoy, boys. Thumbs up if you do, and let's go. So our mission, or essentially goal, is to go and complete the Hero SBC today for free, or at least bring down the cost by a fair amount. And that's why if there are any packs available from objectives, I'm all for it. And the One Nation Glory Challenge is just so good for this. Build a French team, go and play casually, and you're going to get some really good rewards. And I, in fact, went and bought Informed Diaby for 30,000, and he's already gone up to like 40k. And you'll see him in action a little bit later on in the episode. But let's go and open these packs. Jeez. Uh, walkout. 81 times three. Good. Go oh. Even better. I was looking for fodder, but that is a playable goalkeeper. I did sell him ages ago, but if I ever need the Real Madrid chemistry, 83 times five. The back to back walkouts. You're joking. Center back. German center back. German center. Oh, it's going to be only Ta, which is a shame. 86 and a bunch of 84s. Make my day, EA. Oh, thank you. You know I needed this. Another goalkeeper. Yes, Allison this time. Give me Addison. Give me Addison. It is looking like Edison. You're bringing down the cost by a fair amount right now. So already we've been given a major head start working towards the Hero SBC because those packs gave out. And especially Courtois, like I'm always wanting to either buy him or just pack him untradeable so I can rotate through to Stegen, Mike Mignan or himself. So a really good option for the RTG. But if you remember last year when I was speaking about League SBCs or we went on that grind of like working towards Mbappe and it helped massively. Well, this time around, things have changed and the premium versions are very, very expensive. And it's to the point where it's not even really worth starting unless you build up your club. And I've been given advice on this, and that's why I wanted to put up a big investment and basically send the mixed leagues. And although it doesn't seem as good, but like, hear me out, you're going to see the process right now. So long story short, I've spent 140,000 coins just shy of that, and I've done 10 rounds of mixed leagues. And what's annoying this year is that when you build a concept team and go and buy the players and submit those into the SBC, Usually what would happen is in that team would then revert back to being a concept or well, this time around it just gets removed So it takes you an awful long time building these literally. I've just spent three hours doing them But let me show you the grinds and let's go and open these packs. So basically I'll show you the best ones walk out at least one walk Jesus Teze one walk out at least out of all these packs two in fact just show us that glow <gasps> Goalkeeper Goalkeeper Italian, Liga 1, already massive, boys. That is huge from the League SBC grind. It's Donnarumma. That's a big rating as well for a goalkeeper. All right, that's our first massive hit from the League SBCs. There you go. 89 rated. So the value we're going to check right now. But like I say, we've spent about 130, 140,000, give or take. And stones. That is huge. Massive. Oh, from League SBCs. Is it a walkout as well? Left wing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, from League SBCs, man. What's this? From St. Pauli. How, what's your rating then? 84. Sad. Oh, my God. No. I am a little bit upset with that one, boys. Back to back Trailblazers. In form. No walkout, though. That is money. That, that's been worth, then. If that's 10,000 coins, what well, it is. The Luton left back, again, I've packed him four times. Well, not today, but like four times in total. So already we've received some really nice players. But if I was to stop this grind right now, I'd be down 40,000. And a lot of casuals look at this thinking, well, that wasn't worth it. And I'm by no means an expert when it comes to League SBCs. But I've been given a decent amount of advice. And I've seen it myself when I was grinding towards Mbappe last year. Basically, it's not like what you see straight away. It's over time. And with all of those regular cards that we've received, like non-rares, rares, um, pretty much like lower rated fodder, it's what you do with that. So pretty much like what I decided to do is go through loads of like other SBC challenges and gain some tradable packs. It might be prime electrums, mixed players, whatever. You're still gaining coins. So long story short, everything that's tradable from this grind, you sell on the market. Everything that's untradeable, you check what you've got and received. If it's Libertadores cards, you're obviously going to be putting that into the Prime League SBCs. Or if it's like uh, La Liga players, Premier League, you're putting them into the better versions. So you're just over time going to be able to grind like the more expensive League SBC, as well as like making sure you keep your coin total balance. So everything tradable you sell and everything else just gets sent into other SBCs. 
So you would have seen us actually uh, go and complete uh, a German female. And then Kaiseido, I've actually used on my other account for a few games. He he's all right, but he's nowhere near the level of Suzuko. So he's pretty much been done just for the potential of him getting a plus two. And you never know, maybe later on down the line we use him. Or in fact, just have him for, you know, chemistry, fodder is what it is. But with this grind, boys, I've been able to achieve the Hero SBC. Now, not 100% for free. I've still used some of the players in my club. But wow, this grind really has helped. But how many coins are we down? I'll show you later. But let's get into this. My corner hamstick in the same team would be just a 10 out of 10 of beautiful scenes. But is it going to happen for the RTG? No Tim Howard, no Cahill. We don't want any of those. My corner in my starting 11. 3, 2, 1. Show me Brazilian. Five hours grinding for this. Jesus. Jesus. Nah, that's it, EA. I've had enough. Nah, 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 nah. I've actually had enough. I'm putting my foot down. That's not acceptable. Nor. Norway. I've got him. Nice. Thanks. Thanks so much. 85 rated. Christ, I was gaining more fodder out of the League SBC grind than him. Sorry, boys. Uh, what's the saying? You don't get anything free in life. Well, I got Nor. Yeah, I got north for my five-hour grind. Jesus, man. Like, you think you're getting the one-up on EA Sports. Like, you're grinding, you're playing for free, and then you go and receive literally the worst hero on the game. But don't let that put you off, because all it takes is one lucky pull, or maybe even from the League SBCs themselves. And that's why, over time, it's really, really efficient. And I will continue to do it, but I can't promise you, like, every day I'm going to have packs, because it just takes far too long to build the SBCs. I don't mind doing it like once or twice a week, but to invest like three hours of my time just sitting there building the SBCs is pretty much like, you know, exhausting, like mentally draining. But it was a good start and I will show you at the end of the video, like um, most of the players that I've sold and what kind of SBCs that I've done to give you a little bit more of a, like a better picture as to like the direction you want to be taking it in if you decide to start it yourself. But we need wins right now. I basically need five wins to secure my rank in the Elite Division for the rewards on Thursday. So we're going to do a speedrun and Diaby's in action to be played as a striker. I might actually switch him around um, with Adama. Like Adama's in for chemistry and Hansen's been dropped. So yeah, maybe Hansen's going. I don't know yet. Let's go play. No team. Free win. Free win, boys. Oh, Adama. That's a dirty pass. Yo, find that for Vinny. Do something for me, Vinny. Just trying to get some more chance creation, more goals, more fun in the final thirds. Adama. Nah, Adama, you really are. You're him. Adama, you're back in. Do you know what? I, I actually think I'm going to be selling Hansen. Chumeni. He's always really good against me. At the Emmy, though, at this stage of the game. But Vinny. Whoa! No, his keeper's on sweeper keeper. Oh my god, come on. I've got to build up quicker and take advantage of that. He's got the sweeper keeper glitch. Suzuko, wonderful. Do you know the one thing that's crazy with Suzuko is he's got base technical. And remember Kone from last year? Oh, do me a favor, Diaby, and score that. That's got to be a goal. Nice. Kunde played. That would have been absolutely ridiculous. Wow, that's a good ball. I'm shick. Come on, just get it in front. This bloody goalkeeper movement from him in this game has been absolutely wild. Give me it. Vinny, what a terrible goal. Well played, though. Suzoko has changed my RTG. He's so good. Why always me? Mario Balotelli. You still like Mario. I do remember, like, that Euros card that he received. He was absolutely mental. Come on, Diaby. I need more boosts. There's the power shot. That's what I was trying to play for. But I just find it difficult. You know, sometimes it just doesn't feel natural. And I'm like trying to force it. But that's it. I feel sorry for Essien. Like I wanted him to be like a club legend. Like pack him from one of those icons. Like 800k. Like yeah, yeah. It's good, good. If I play him CDM, yeah. Fantastic card. But Suzoko is just so much more well-rounded. Oh, no. Don't. Nah, is it Michael Owen? The little rat boy. Yes, around the corner. Come on, let me have that. The Abbey, come on, run. 
81st minute. Give me this W. He's pushed me, ref. Yes. Foul, foul, foul. It's either a goal or a corner, and then I'll score from the corner. I hope, anyway. It's a goal. Nah, Sissoko. It's got to be you. Sissoko. What an unlock. Xavi, Rodri. Okay. Rafinha, I'd love to do. I'm in. Don't tackle me from behind. Vinicius Jr. And he's gone and got that one. We needed... We needed that. Vinny. Turn back inside. Vinny! Come on, man. That's a good goal. Yeah, now he's gone. Come on, Vinny. Mendy Evo. Oh, wow. Your team looks incredible. It's a very, very nice squad. Oh, cheeky. Right, this time. Maybe it was off balance or something and he didn't like it. Good Lord, this is where we concede. Erlen, I did tell you, I've had four chances. How are we actually losing this game? This is seriously bad. I need to fix up my attacks. That's a pen. That's actually a penalty. Best be finishing this hamshick. Bang, trusty left. He's onside there though. Now that's great positioning. We definitely score this. Come on, like, I had to. I've had five chances, six chances, like, all felt like 1v1s. Adama! You're not saving these. Tim, your time's up. I know you saw it, my 4-4-2 formation. Yeah, we're back to that for now. 4-2-3-1 uh, is great, and I finalized some really, really cool instructions and tactics that I can show you in a little bit. But the sad part about it is that it costs so much to make it like really broken and meta because it requires the cams. And that's the only downfall with the formation, in my opinion. Like it is a good one to use, but just those cams, like I need Cruyff, I need, you know, some bigger, bigger players. But basically, like all of this stuff, I, I think I've sold like four lots of my trade pile tons and tons of cards silvers if they sell if they don't sell you may as well keep hold of them for the black friday like flash sbcs either you're going to do them yourself or you just sell for like four thousand five thousand and make a ton of money but all of this stuff is being uh, relisted and i also want to show you like the, the the damage pretty much to the sbcs and the kind of like individual ones that i've done i'm very very close as well to completing this um, I don't want to go and spend on these two because they cost like 5,000 each, so it's not really worth it. But everything else in that squad has been pack pulled. And then you check out like the individual players. Like, of course, we were able to get our hands on Kaiseido, but this uh, Yugate, I've just basically completed these two teams for the tradable packs. And not to bore you, I, I just opened them, got like some random non rares. Some of them, um, some of them were Libertadores cards, but nothing major. And then any other like SPCs that I can remember doing. Um, just pretty much, um, yeah, just all the individual ones. Uh, yeah, ba basically the female, the German female and Kaiseido. Yeah, that's what I've done and just grinded the league SBCs. So we're, we're down like 30,000 coins. And I know some of you be like, well, that wasn't worth it, but it's what we've been able to get in return, right? So 30,000 coins packed us an inform stones, um, a bunch of fodder, a crazy amount of fodder, uh, like lower rated cards. Uh, we had Donnarumma. And then we were able to go and complete Kaiseido that I've tried for a few matches and he was all right. And the inform, uh, or not the inform, there was like a German uh, with even like the 83s and 84s that we collected on the way. So it was far more efficient to do the mixed league grind than go on the market and buy fodder for the hero. So you can kind of understand the process. Like if you're new to the game, I need to explain it for you guys because I know some of you like already know how league SPCs work. But some others will be like, well, what was a waste, like if you've lost coins, but it's what you've been able to gain, like the wealth in your club. And that's why League SBCs are just so good. And they're going to be even better when the prime version of it drops in price. And we can just start doing that instead. The mixed leagues like get you, gets you up and running, but the prime ones are really what we want to focus on. And that's what's going to be allowing us to do big SBCs like Mbappe, Vinicius Jr. if he was to get a special card. So it's going to be mental. But I'm going to be honest with you, boys. Uh, Hansen will get sold on Thursday. Once the market rebounds, I'm selling Hansen because I can't really get her into the team um, without like just completely destroying everything. And it's just, an yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying me. And I don't really necessarily need her. I want to go back to Adama as my right mid and just be a sweat. And this Diaby I bought simply for the objective. 30,000 coins. He's now up to 40. And I must say that I think I'm going to get rid of him uh, after the rewards as well. Um, 
I mean, he could technically go right mid, but do you know what I'm thinking? Uh, he's going to go right mid, a dammer, and then the striker, I've got somebody in mind. And I want an icon. I want an insane icon. Suzuka, by the way, is broken, completely broken. And Fernando Hierro, the more I use him, the more I like. But his acceleration at times is noticeable, but he's actually been really good. And he provides some lovely chem as well. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of coins and I'm not going to promise I'm going to do League SBCs uh, every single day, but I'm going to yeah try my best to gain even more packs for the RTG. But it's a fun grind for sure. And then we're going to have yeah even more packs on Thursday. So GG. But thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed. And yeah, the 442 is back killing it for me. I went on a really, really nice streak in Rivals. So proud of that. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Peace.